to submit to the press conference a single draft of each treaty. And set forth in this draft the matters on which agreement has been reached and those on which agreement has not been reached. This will permit free discussion in the peace conference, where all the nations have been deciding, and world opinion will then point the way to a final settlement. The order of the peace conference has not called this summer. The United States will feel obliged to request the General Assembly of the United Nations under the Charter to make recommendations with respect to the peace settlement. Building the foundations of a people's peace in a world shattered world is a long, hard process. A people's peace cannot be secured by flashing diplomatic cards. It requires patience and firmness, courage and understanding. We must not try to impose our will on others. But we must make sure that others do not get the impression that they can impose their will upon us. We did not reach agreement upon the treaties, nor upon the question of calling a peace conference, or our proposal for a four power treaty for 25 years to keep Germany disarmed. Our problems are serious. I am not discouraged. Our offensive to secure peace has only begun. We are determined to work for peace, political and economic peace, in Europe and in the rest of the world. We want the peoples of all lands to stop thinking of war and to start working together in a free and friendly world. I hope and my prayer is that with God's help, the war-stricken people of the world may soon return to the paths of peace. The situation which we will face 